So gene editing is kind of like the sci-fi thing where it's like we can take your DNA and we can actually like imagine you take scissors, you cut it, or you or like rewriting like a Google Doc, we can change it and make it do something else. So that's that's really what gene editing is at a high level. The problem again with gene editing historically has been that it's, it wasn't as precise as we wanted it to be. So you obviously don't want to edit something and then accidentally edit something that you don't want to, right? Yeah. And so, that, but the technology is evolving where it can get much more precise. So there's certain gene therapies, for example, that have become really popular because they can insert a very specific gene into your body, for example, to help you put on more muscle. Uh, so that's an example of a gene therapy that it will be actually avail available in Dubai in the next few months. It's available in other parts of the world right now, but it's called follow-statin gene therapy, and it's a pretty cutting-edge technology. I think these technologies will continue to evolve over time and get more sophisticated. This is just a simple version of gene therapy where we're just inserting one gene, but imagine the day where you could rewrite your whole genome to make yourself younger or like to slow down aging, right? And that's that's sounds like sci-fi, but it's, it's, I mean, there's some crazy breakthroughs happening. Like in China, they just, sh they created these rice that they were able to flip like the, one of the chromosomes and essentially switch the, the edit the genome to be able to make them resistant to herbicide. So now you have rice that are gene edited to be resistant to herbicide. So how, like, how cool is that? Imagine if you can make your body resistant to like stress or something, you know, yeah, yeah. like in humans, you know, there's so many cool applications you could do. Amazing. Wow. Quickly, how do you think you can optimize your health at any age? 